John Denver, 15 seconds for curtain, John. All right, Scooter, thanks. Listen, Denver, you're a good kid. Let me help you get away so you don't have to do this crummy show. Come on. W wait a minute. I, I, I want to work with the Muppets. You do? Well, yeah. I, I think this is a terrific show, Waldorf. You're beyond help. <laughs> Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Scout Manual, cover to cover, John. I'm gonna be a big help. I know you are, Robin. And listen, I gotta hand it to all you guys. I mean, after the mess back at the parking lot, I can't believe how neat and tidy all your knapsacks are. Well, it's all in the planning, John. We made a list, then we packed the bare essentials. Then we gave the rest to Animal. Ah, battery, battery. <laughs> Oh, hi, John. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing fine. Hey, I really enjoyed your last number. Oh, thanks very much, Gonzo. I enjoyed that, too. Yeah, hey, listen, I wonder if you'd share some of the secrets of your success with me since we're both in the same field. Well, yeah, I'd be happy to. You know, you, you've you got to take care of your throat. You can't let yourself get too tired when you're singing. You've got to get... Well, I don't need help with my singing. <laughs> I need help with my gardening. You've got a garden? Oh, yeah, John. I've got the world's biggest mole garden. <laughs> mold garden? Yeah, mold. Far out. How, how did you get into that? Well, about a year ago, I went away on vacation and I forgot to clean out my refrigerator. Yeah? When I got back, the food was all green and fuzzy. And it was just too cute to throw out. Well, so what's the problem? Well... I don't have any privacy anymore. Sometimes I think my garden is plotting against me. You're kidding. Ah! You know, you could be right. There, there is a fungus among us. Gondo, uh, what? The bulb in the refrigerator got busted. How did that happen? Well, we were playing puffball and Reggie hit a long one. Uh, all right, I'll replace it, but this is the last time. Oh, I thought I heard it for a minute, but I, it must have been nothing. Oh, I heard what? What did you hear? Well, I thought I heard the giant man-eating chicken. The, the, the giant man-eating chicken? What is it? Tell us about it. Yeah. What, what, what? Well, years ago, there was an old prospector living in this valley. Mm -hmm. And one winter, when the night started getting extremely cold, uh -huh. he wanted to make his sleeping bag warmer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he snuck down valley to a chicken farm, got inside the chicken house, and when this one huge female chicken was walking by, uh -huh. he reached out, grabbed a handful of feathers, and jerked him out of that chicken and ran like crazy back up here to his cabin, stuffed him in his sleeping bag, made it a lot warmer. Uh -huh. That chicken was furious and swore that as long as she lived, and even after she died, she'd walk these woods sniffing out people that had chicken feathers in their sleeping bags and take revenge. Uh, what? Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> uh, what, 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 what kind of revenge? I don't think you want to know, Fozzie. Oh, oh, please, yes, please, 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 please tell us. us. Well, the ghost of this giant man-eating chicken, no offense, walks these woods at night. And sometimes, when you're asleep, you can hear the sound of footsteps on the dry leaves and twigs. And you can hear this chicken sniff in the air. And it'll get closer and closer until it sounds like it's right on top of you. And then this giant man-eating chicken will open its huge jaws with that savage beak right down by your head and say, Speaking of chicken,
chicken Johnny. feathers, Kermit. Let's hear it. One, two, three, four. John, Johnny, do you realize that I have never seen you without your little glasses on? Oh, take them off, Jonathan. Take them off. Please take them off for me. <laughs> Put them on, Jonathan. Put them on. Yes, Miss Piggy. <laughs> well, gang, wow. here we are awesome. at the campsite. Oh, awesome. look at that. Awesome. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I've wanted to get you guys up in the Rockies for a long time. This makes me real happy. Yeah, just one thing, John. How's the television reception up here? What? What do you want a television for when you got gorgeous scenery like that? Yeah. Besides, what are you going to plug it into? No problem. I brought a 16-mile extension cord. Is that cord. a gold lame backpack that you're wearing? Oh, you noticed? Well, it's hard. <laughs> huh? Piggy, we are going to the swamp. You... Yes, the swamp. Yes. Yes. Well, do, do you have everything? You, do you have your snake bite kit? What? Your your snake bite kit. There are snakes in the swamp. They may bite you. What? Uh, snakes? Well, yes, Piggy, snakes. And and also, one th you you need a short, sharp stick about that long. Oh, a walking stick. Yes. Yes. No, I'm no, no, sure. no, no, no. This is for the alligators. Alligators. Why, yes, darling. The alligators, when they open their mouths to eat you, you, you jam the stick, and, and they can't close their jaws on you. Good. Well, yes, and also, Piggy, one other thing, and this is of, of critical importance. Yes. Every morning when you get up, before yes. you put your boots on, yes. be very sure to shake them vigorously. Why? Well, Piggy, at night when you're asleep in the swamp, sometimes there, there are spiders and little creepy crawly things, and they'll, they'll get in your boots. And, and if you don't shake them out... <laughs> I think she needs a week in the country. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. Huh. What does it say? Uh, golly, Kermit, I'm not sure. Can you read it? Uh, sure. Let's see. It says, uh, uh, Dearest Johnny, simply devastated I couldn't be with you in Colorado again. Again? Well, she must be talking about when she was here last October. Last October? Why, she was visiting her sick aunt in Toledo. She must have had a busy October. What else does it say? Uh, it says, uh, looking forward to seeing Vu again soonest. Love and kisses, Piggy Poo. Piggy Poo? <clears throat> does it say anything else? It says, uh, please don't mention this letter to Kermit. I won't. All right, John, let, let, what is this letter all about? Kermit, perfectly innocent. Now, she was yeah. out visiting some friends last October, and one day I took a show her a Kermit, it was an absolute thrill to work with you. Thank you for having me on the show. Oh, it was our pleasure, John. But, you know, it looks like it's going to be just you and me on that camping trip because everybody else backed out. Oh, is that, I'm sorry to hear that. But listen, Kermit, never mind. We'll have a great time. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to catch frogs. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, what you do is, is you wait until dark, you see, and then you take a flashlight and you shine it out in the water. John, I knew all about those flashlights. How do you think my eyes got this way? <laughs> well, listen, I'll find somebody else to go camping with me. We'll see you next time on The Muppet Show. <laughs> <laughs> Gonzo, what are you so dooted up for? Oh, I'm gonna go out and get a date with that man-eating chicken you told us about. She sounds terrific. Gonzo, there's no such thing as a man-eating chicken. That was a story. Ha! Well, that's what I thought until I found this. Why, that looks like a giant chicken feather. Oh, what? Ah.